Hey viewers, welcome to another game with Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing No Limits, where we definitely have some limits. But um, yeah, it is today's daily challenge from Bloons Tower Defense 5. And this is a rather easy one, once you figure out what not to do. And uh, we're going to start off with... Uh, oh, come on, that's one... No, two and one. A two and one dartling gun. And then adding on a mortar, which is going to be one and two for the most part of this and then obviously we're going to have to add more so I decided to go for a ninja monkey because I had some trouble with uh, wave 40 in previous playthroughs and the thing to do in wave 40 is of course to defeat those uh, first ceramic balloons and well this guy has that uh, zero 02 upgrade which pops balloons back to uh, to the entrance which splits them up also it makes it a lot easier because you get multiple shots at them and of course the uh, four and zero upgrade which uh, gives you five shots at each of the balloons is also very very nice to have so as you can see the balloons are getting pretty far here but they are not going to leak no nope, they're not going to leak uh, four and two dart Mo uh, ninja monkey now we're going to add a uh, a sniper monkey but that is just for the fun of it um, it is going to do some damage but it's only going to be one and one so I'm, I don't want to invest too much in it it is just there to pick off those pesky uh, well heavy balloons so, such as the ceramic balloons and basically I just want it there as some fire support but yeah well I didn't expect too much of it so anyway we're adding on a super monkey the super monkey is going to be our late game plan and uh, please note that I start every wave with the mortar selected so that I have that little thing on my cursor that I can use to place the mortar just about wherever I want. And then after each wave or between the waves, I, um, uh, yeah, I, I reset it to its, its original position. I upgrade the... Uh, the towers that I want to upgrade and then I select it again for the next round so as you can see one balloon got through and that was because of my poor shooting of course if you shoot a little bit better you will of course get it no problem so mortar wise you can go two ways you can go either for three and two or for two and three it doesn't really matter the difference is whether or not you have that extra damage or the camo detection another four balloons got passed but once again, yeah, that's not a problem. And I think that's the last one that actually got passed. I'm not actually sure about that, but I'm going to assume that. Uh, this is wave 50, I believe. Yeah, it seems like wave 50. And wave 50 is going to be pretty easy. We're going to upgrade our dartling gun now to uh, its maximum, which is the three and two upgrade. It is not the maximum available, of course. It is the maximum that I will be going for. Um, yeah, we're going to add on a boat. It's going to be a cannon boat for several reasons. First of all, the cannon boat is way easier to upgrade into the 2 and 4 than the uh, 3 and 2 boat is to upgrade in the 4 and 2 boat. So the airplane carrier is more useful, but it's not nearly as good as, um, as the cannon boat. Uh, in its well lower state so the 3 and 2 is not nearly as good as the 2 and 3 and that is of course a problem because you're not going to have the 14,000 or something available at any point so yeah unless you have some um, some pretty good defense already you know most of the time want to have this extra AOE damage uh, which is almost the same single target damage as the the 3 and 2 boat so that's, uh, that's pretty interesting as you can see I'm going to upgrade my super monkey but I did this in wave 60 so at the beginning of wave 60 of the end of 59 I guess and because of that I knew that there were no camo balloons incoming camo balloons are here but by this time I have the ninja monkey upgraded to uh, to the 4 and 2 of course if you have the other mortar so I went for 3 and 2 if you went for the 2 and 3 mortar then you will have no problem there you can actually leave out the ninja monkey for the rest of the game but I couldn't do that because I needed to make sure that something else would pick up the camo balloons of course I have plenty of camo detection I have three towers with camo detection one of which is actually on my cursor upgraded the boat there to two and four 
and got one of the um, Zombs, I think. No, that's, that's not it. The BFBs. Um, so you wait until all of the Moabs pop, then you pick up a BFB with it, and the last BFB will easily go down. Although I'm pretty sure both of them will go down to that Super Monkey. So, pretty easy playthrough. This is the one times playthrough, the other one was three and a half times. So, this one's going to be pretty long. But if you want to watch that, have fun with that. And if you don't, then I will see you next time. And I hope you enjoyed. GG.